All right, we're getting ready to go to the beach. I'm coming out on the balcony here. Let me show you this. Good morning from Kriti. Look at this. We're in the village, my aunt and uncle's village. Later, hopefully we're going to this insane mountain village to a taverna way in the mountains somewhere just in the middle of nowhere and we're gonna eat a lot of local like meats and vegetables and everything it's gonna be fresh and yeah it's gonna be a classic day in Crete let's go oh all of a sudden I'm stumbling upon this basil plant look at the, this is Italian basil but look at the leaves on it I've never seen basil like this in my life. I don't know if you got I don't know if you got even got basil like this in Italy, even though it's Italian basil. Look at this. Here's parsley. More parsley. Green onion. Purslane. Mint. There's just herbs growing everywhere behind their house. Here's the church. I'll give you a proper tour of their house one day, but we're getting ready to go to the beach, so meet you at the beach. I just came to get a quick coffee. I got a Fredo Espresso, which is two shots of espresso whipped up with air over ice. And let me just show you this place, it's insane. It's a bakery. They have all these, they have ice cream, they have sweets, they have bread. Over here, they're making coffees like crazy. Let me show you. Yes, us. Yes, us. Look at this. All right, I got my coffee. It's two shots of espresso whipped up over ice. I get no sh no sugar. It's amazing. You got to drink it slow though, because if you drink it fast, you'll die. First time I ever drank one, I had a second one right after, and I was, I had an anxiety attack for like four hours. Let's try it. <sighs> Amazing coffee, that's why this place was so busy. They have two espresso machines going, constantly making espresso. They haven't stopped since I got here. They have. They have pretty much everything here. I saw a line out the door and I was like, mm, do I want to wait? But it was worth it. See you at the beach. All right, just made it to the beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. One second, let me show you. All right, I'm at Agia Apostoli Beach. It's right outside of Hanya. It's amazing. <laughs> Check out the water. I'm about to go swimming, so I'll leave you in a second. I need to. It's super hot. It's at least 90. Yeah. Um, we're going to chill here for a few hours. I'm going to get some videos. And we're going to go to the mountain village, Zurva, later. That's what it's called. My uncle has been freaking out about it, telling us we need to go. So, peace out. All right, there's a path over here that leads up on top of the rocks. Hopefully we can get a good view of the entire bay. Oh yeah, check this out. So, we came to the beach for a few hours, but what I'm really excited about is tonight we're going to a mountain village my uncle has been talking about called Zurva, and it's, it's near the Samaria Gorge if you've ever heard of it, kind of near there, and there's a couple, there's only two tavernas there, and it looks like very traditional Cretan food, so 
I'm gonna vlog the entire thing. Probably see you there. Hey, Chita Pragmata. So we're driving to the mountain village and everywhere on the side of the road are orange and lemon trees. And it's kind of hard to get it on video because I'm sitting in the back in the middle. I tried to sit in the front, but I gotta let my dad sit up there, that's okay. But check it out. There's, we've passed fields of avocados, fields of oranges and lemons. <laughs> now he's teasing me for talking about food. All right, I'm in Zurva, a mountain village in Crete. We just drove up the windiest road you could imagine. And here's the view, giant cliffs. I don't know exactly what altitude we're at, but we're gonna eat at this taverna, Emilias. Should be amazing. All right, this is one of the most traditional tavernas I've ever been to in Greece. The inside is decked out with like traditional Cretan decorations and outside the view here let's check it out Okay, I had to get away from the table a bit. We just ordered a ton of meat dishes and vegetable dishes. We're gonna see what they bring. Uh, it's hard to take videos right now because everyone's making fun of me for taking videos. They think I'm crazy. But you know what? I'm gonna go crazy for this food right now. So let's eat. <laughs> Homemade sausage. <laughs> this is the stuff that they scoop off the top of the cheese when they're making goat cheese. It's super high in cholesterol and it's super rich, but it's one of the most traditional Cretan foods. This is homemade mizitra cheese. These are Marathopites, which are in Crete, the fennel fronds grow wild all over the place. They pick that green, that herb, and they stuff it into this homemade dough and then they grill it in the skillet. It's amazing. Here we have a Greek salad with fresh, everything fresh oregano from the mountain nearby, tomatoes. Onions, peppers, olives from the trees right around here. <laughs> Here's sausage uh, that they make homemade here. Uh, Alright, the food came, they're still making fun of me. But I don't care because look at this. This is local lamb, their own lambs cooked in a stew. Kokinisto. 
This is a rooster that they've cooked in a stew also. French fried potatoes. Yeah, I don't even know how to explain this to you. It's just too delicious. <laughs> I, I gotta eat, all right. All right, I'm stuffed to the brim right now. We just ate enough goat and lamb and potatoes and vegetables and olive oil and beer <laughs> to feed the entire village. And uh, I'm checking out basically. Over here we have the gorgeous mountains. We're gonna drive down the the windy road again to get home. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have much to say. You just gotta. You just gotta come here. Just come here. Hurry up. <laughs>